Medicine Hat and myself are, continue to have serious concerns about the effectiveness and knowledge of this government's herd management policies regarding the elk population that was introduced in the late 1990s to the Suffield military base. One of my constituents personally handed the Prime Minister a letter pleading with him to help force his PC government to deal with this unmanaged and self-inflicted wildlife problem. This exploding elk herd population could lead to an economic disaster for provincial cattlemen. We have already seen the effects in our neighboring state of Montana, where several thousand ahead of cattle have been quarantined due to the brucellosis outbreak there, amongst the livestock contracted from elk in the nearby Yellowstone National Park. Elk in Yellowstone wander onto adjoining ranch land, much like the elk here are wandering onto my constituents' ranch land from the Canadian Forces Base Suffield, where they are introduced with no known population management plan. Still reeling from the effects of mad cow disease and now the historical prices ranchers are receiving for their livestock, it is imperative that the Minister of ESRD come up with a strong herd management plan. To quote my colleague from Cyprus Medicine Hat, we need to immediately get these numbers in check. It is imperative that we have more than a developing strategy. Farmers and ranchers are demanding a succinct action plan for immediate control of the population numbers of elk entering their property. Mr. Speaker, in my constituency, property rights are definitive. If your neighbor's cows are on your property, you are responsible. In this case, ESRD's livestock is causing havoc. Therefore, ESRD needs to get their livestock immediately under control.